Tianxing. Are you alright? This is my first time on a battlefield. It feels so different here. I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them it's an emergency. We are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not comprehend? Here's a list of what we need. I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go. Move, move. What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? You new here? Are you backups too? Wait, you don't look like one of us. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers, and they are... Excuse me, one moment please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handle with care and precision. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry. Have to answer this. Yes, what is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry. Um, could you do me a favor? The the wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. Could you please take care of them? What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Thank you. It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Things are always like this in the rear. The frontline soldiers focus solely on battle, following orders and striking enemies. But in the rear, personnel must juggle numerous tasks. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. I had no idea it could get this bad. Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for. To ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's a sacrifice made so others don't have to live in fear. Are you all right? I, I'm okay. I'm just, just a little out of breath. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'll go find a medic. Like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Let me go. Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. <sighs> That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. Calm down and stay where you are. Please, hold him still for me. Sure. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. Please, take some rest. They look badly injured. Don't worry. They've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop in the number of casualties. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. 
Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. They are the ones keeping our people safe. What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers in such a short time. Now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Thank you. May I ask where the Quartermaster is? The Quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Just take that lift and you should find him there. Rover, where are we going next? Here are some recipes for dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks. Have you confirmed the inventory? What about a spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. Ewa, deliver this list to Asha. Uh, you're not Ewa. Where is she? What do you need? Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. This is Rover, and this is Master Tianxing who came here to look for someone. Jinjo is the gateway to Huanlong, and the Desert Rock Highland is the gateway to Jinjo. A single breach could have dire consequences. Our defense must hold at all costs. The tacit discords are not humans. They don't do truces or ceasefires. For as long as they exist, this war will rage on endlessly. Supply is the lifeblood of our army, and I am tasked with keeping it flowing, but now we are facing a shortage. I saw you help arrange the wounded there. Your show lamb would need your help more than I do. Thank you, but I must remain to oversee vital military supplies. I saw you help. Thank you, but I must... Yen. So, he never sent a letter home? Not even once? The Midnight Rangers are no longer recruiting non-resonators lately. <laughs> but Yen was a stubborn boy. Last year, when the battles hadn't gotten so intense, he would trail us rear guards, eager to join the front line. Now, we sent him back to the sea time and time again, and he just kept finding ways to come back. <laughs> Eventually, I caved and took him in to help us here in the base. With the battle escalating, it's getting increasingly dangerous out here. I shouldn't keep him here any longer. I was just thinking about having the logistics team bring him back to the city when you guys showed up. Oh, now I remember. He should be currently on the floor above. Sure. Please excuse me. I'll join you later. What, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> please excuse me. I thought that was a grenade. <laughs> Is this a mangosteen? Well, it's not a local fruit, so we can only get it through imports. But with the recent tacit discord outbreaks, we've had to prioritize bringing in the essentials. We'll get back to importing more of these after General Jian makes his triumphant return. Now, currently, there's only one waterway open from Port Gunchao in the south of the city. Now, the rear guards would regularly go there to escort goods. Hmm, what more do I know? The military rarely buys this fruit for rations due to its short shelf life. Plus, it, it looks too much like a grenade, and uh, that could cause some issues. It's a type of old-fashioned explosive. The lament caused a global technological regression and shortage of resources. While tacitite weapons were being developed, most people had limited knowledge of tacitite as an energy source. As a result, primitive products combining old and new technology emerged. The hand grenade was one of them. With the rapid growth of tacitite weapons, these crude explosives were eventually phased out in favor of more advanced weaponry.
Master Tianxing, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhu Yan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. Zhu Yan is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering, but the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, the best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The mediocre sages gain enlightenment in the bustling cities, and the worst sages gain enlightenment in seclusion. I do share some of Juyan's feelings. However, Juyan disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators, and believed he could contribute on the battlefield, however small that contribution might be. I too found what Juyan said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So, I tried to imagine what my masters would do. They'd set up a spar in this case, and if I won, they'd let me do what I wanted. I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. My masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important insights from those fights. Now, who do you think won that fight? The shape changes, but not the forms. The more it moves, the more it yields. Less thinking, more knowing. Simplify for clarity. Yes, I pretended to lose, but Juyan saw it through. After our fight, Juyan admitted he saw the gap between resonators and ordinary people. He seemed to realize how he was still far from being able to fight the tacit discords. He realized how he was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference, not wanting to acknowledge his own limitations. Fighting on the battlefield requires physical and mental strength, and he was not yet prepared for that. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Shan Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have met you. Us running into Master Tian Xing was a one-off incident. If the Mangostine indicates something about war, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Have you thought of something, Rover? I think. So Madam Magistrate wants to tell us something about the Mangostine's route of transportation? The Quartermaster said the Mangostines are transported by boat from the south. We haven't reached the front lines yet, but I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. Our soldiers stationed at the borders. I hope they're okay.
victory. What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh, I was worried. You just stood there and gazed into the distance. You were unresponsive when I tried talking to you. What did you see? It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think I saw what was happening in the Norfolk Barrens. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Qinglong. The Qinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the symbol of General Tian, the leader of all Midnight Rangers. The front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there, fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tian was leading an attack against the tacit discords. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Rover, something on that battlefield must be connected to you. Though we have no idea what it is. But I didn't hear anything or sense any frequencies. Rover? According to Baja, the leaves showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. And that is... Teacher Village and the Central Plains. reflect on my goals and plans, those voices in the streams become clearer, and everything starts to make more sense. Rover, perhaps you can give it a try. 